What's going on guys, Playboxer, and we're back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. Now in this one, we're going to be doing another installment of How I Play PvP Explained. So, for those of you who are not familiar with this, it's basically me um, showing you the ga uh, some games I've recorded off camera. So basically, games that I've recorded just like while I'm playing without commentating any over it. And I'll just be uh, going step by step and explaining how I play, explain my play style, basically explain each move I do and why I do them. Um, I'm probably not, I'm not going to be explaining like simple stuff like why I sidestep and stuff like that, but just some of the decisions I make while I play the game and hopefully it can help out you guys who are having uh, struggles with PvP and don't know what to do or panicking so much that your judgment is clouded or something like that. So maybe a small little insight into how I play could be helpful for you guys. Um, I've made a couple of these videos uh, in the past and it all seemed to do really good and you guys seem to enjoy it. So I decided to do one again right before the anniversary ended. So yeah, and without further ado, let's hop in straight into the first match. Alright, so for the first match, I'm using a Fusion Warriors team. And I always like to start off with Gojia because of the Blast Armor. Uh, I try to go for a mid-range, but he gets the blue card off first and we have our strike card sealed, unfortunately. Fell for the taps, uh, tap blast, so I just decided to go for some tap attacks here because I don't have my vanish. And even though I don't have vanish, I like to still stay in with units that have blast armor because I can still catch them off guard. And in that case, I went for a blast armor cancel and I was able to capitalize on the combo. So now we can get some good combo in. Going with Gogeta Blue to get some key so we can use the blue card. So we got some good damage on Goku Black and Future going right off the bat. Go for some taps here again because it key cancelled a bit faster than I expected. But here I go straight away for my strike guard just to switch it up on him because it's always important to switch up your tendencies because if someone gets a hang of him, they'll you'll be easier to read. So always switch it up, you know, go for tackles. I mean not tackles, go for tap attacks, and then the other time go for uh, strut right away. It's it's good to switch it up. Here I decided to go for his ultimate because honestly I thought he was gonna kill him and pop his uh, nullify his endurance, but Unfortunately, it, it was close, but it's not enough, so that sucks. But we're able to get the green card here, so this shows all his cards, and we can pop his endurance this way. Uh, so that's really good. I think here he's gonna switch out soon. Okay, maybe not yet, but we know we can still get some good combo switch into Gogeta Blue. Extend the combo, and does he let him die? Okay, no, he switched to Go uh, Goku Black. So at this point, I just decided to rush because. Um, getting rid of either Goku Black or the Zenkai Trunks is a huge plus for us and getting rid of Goku Black is, is great because he was the only unit that was type neutral against all our units but he ends up guessing it so it is what it is. Um, so he catches me in a tap attack again but we were patient enough to catch him on a sidestep. Switches to Zenkai Trunks and here I think I just uh, go to Gogeta here to get see if I can get another card but I don't unfortunately. Uh, go back, see if I can get the blue card. I was a almost able to get it, but I backed up too much, so I lost some key. But I think here I get it, so <laughs> it worked out in the end. So we got a future going out of the way. Got another blue card, so I decided to see if I can get it again. And we actually did, so get 50% of his health out of the way. So here you'll see me try to go to mid range so I can get the blast armor, but he went for a lot of tap, tap blast. So I decided to go for a key blast, and we got his vanish out. So after winning a clash, I like to move up uh, uh, into the front and then use my cards. Um, it's good because that way people won't know what type of card I'll go uh, use. Uh, it's good for when people have a, a cover unit. In this case, they didn't, but it was. it's good for when someone has a strike or blast cover when they don't know uh, what I'm going to use. So we get the strike cover with Gogeta. And I think we go for tap blast. Loss is vanished, so I go straight away from the blast. And he went for the tackle, unfortunately, so it's pretty much a GG. I try to get the LF, but I think he forfeits. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the first game, so let's move on. Alright, for this next match, we're using God Key with Vados, Gogeta Blue, and Zamasa, which is probably my favorite uh, lineup to use. I start off with a uh, Blast Attack, and he, uh, he dodged it, so he Key Cancelled. And now we're Clashing. We win the Clash. Like I said, I like to move up and then use a card. And then I think here I switch to Zamasu, yep, go for the green card so I can lock him. And he switches into the Red Rosé. I'm actually surprised he brought the Red Rosé because once I see that guy, I just automatically assume they're not going to bring him. But I I have to get better at those that timing there where they, they want to strike cancel at mid-range. 
Uh, so I need to get better at that. But we get the strike cover with Gogeta. I use the blast card here just to get rid of his vanish because they're probably going to vanish. Um, so he goes for the ta to single tap, but I go straight away for my strike because he has no uh, vanish. So we don't have to worry about that. Go into Vados to extend the combo because she does have card draw speed. Decided to drop there because I thought she was uh, he was going to switch over to uh, per LF Rose, but he didn't. So now uh, Vados is taking quite the punishment. And I risk it and go for Zamasu's cover and it worked out perfectly. So here I go to try to bait the Vanish again, but he didn't switch. And I, you saw that right there that I did a little uh, double dash and that's just another way you can drop combo when you use a Key Blast at long range. So it worked out perfectly for us. I popped the male ability code for the ult and in this case it's either Vegito Blue or LF Go, uh, Goku Black because either one of them was going to die. And he decided to let go of Vegito Blue, which uh, I guess is a good choice, maybe not. Uh, but it is what it is. So there I drift around and caught him with the with the bait. So he went for an attack and I vanished out of it. And now it's, I mean, pretty much over. He, uh, he goes for a green card. Do not just straight away go for these guys' long range green card attack because they have long animations. Which means if I vanish it, I can 100% start a combo right away. So that's what happened there. And I decide to go for the LF again. And it looked like I was actually going to get it, but he ends up forfeiting anyway, so yeah, let's move on. So for the next match, we're using Future with the new Purple Vegito, Goku Black, and Zamasu. We get a PV instantly right there, so we can start a nice combo. Switch over to Vegito Blue. I think here I drop combo because there's no way he's letting UI take that much damage, so... Now we can get a nice little combo on Zamasu rolling out here. Unfortunately, it's all strike. So, uh, we couldn't uh, do that much damage and he, we couldn't use that blast card because of Zamasu's key reduction. So, we make him lose his vanish and I decided to wait after the key cancel because some people like to switch out. But it didn't work out in that instance. So, let's we got uh, Goku Black's transformation off. So, now we have card draw speed. So, what does he do with UI? We get him with the tap attack and he went for a green card. Vados vanished out and there I even delayed my sidestep and he was extra patient and he caught me off guard and he even drop comboed so that really indicated to me that this like this guy likes to play around uh, cover so I have to watch out for that later on um, but honestly so Vados is not doing that much damage but he goes into his own Zamasu locks me in and goes for some good damage and there he dropped and he goes for a sidestep so now we're able to get some nice combo Lock him in. Honestly, I should have went for the strike card here because he was locked in, but I decided to go for the blue card for whatever reason. It is what it is, though. I try to get the green card here, but he taps out of it. So now it's just to go black. Use the green card to see if he goes for anything, which he doesn't. So now he's slowly back out, I think. No, so we're just at mid-range. And he goes for a green card, and now he can start a combo here. I go for a blue card just in case he wants to switch to UI because I didn't feel like drop comboing. But he switches to Vados and we get casually half her health. We got the uh, perfect stop clock there. We see what he's doing. Go for the blast. And there, that's what I mean. I key canceled and waited. And he decided to switch to UI and sidestep. A lot of people like to do that. So if you guys want to switch it up, maybe go for well, after you go for a key cancel, wait to see what they're doing. They might switch out and sidestep. So you could probably capitalize on that. So that's maybe something you guys want to uh, consider. So I pop the main ability with Vegito Blue just to stop clock again, and if I vanish, I'm, I would use it right away just to replenish the gauge again. But he vanishes out my blue card, and he didn't seem like he was switching out, so I just decided to go for the rush and see if I can get one person out of there. Uh, Vados is obviously not a huge threat, so getting Zamasu out is pretty much the best case scenario for us. Uh, and luckily for us, he didn't guess it, which apparently happens in every single one of my games, so... Zamasu is completely out of the game, um, so he pops his ult, I mean a main ability just removes all my buffs, I couldn't do anything about that tackle, so I decided to go right away because throughout the game I've been probably uh, delaying my uh, strike attack, so I decided to go right away, and he goes for the main ability and I easily vanish that out with Goku Black and we can pretty much seal the deal, so let's move on to the next one. So for the last match, we're using God Key with my one of my favorite setups also because this setup is pretty good. We have two tanks and two damage deals alongside the support unit. 
And we're up against Senkai 7 Saiyan, so this is an interesting match. We win the Strike Clash, and like I said, I like to move up. Uh, go for the Blast Attack there, switch over to uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and luckily for us, he switched to Gojin, so he's kind of stuck here to take this damage, unless he wants to use his cover rest here, which he doesn't end up doing, so we get casually half Go of Gogeta's health, so that's really good for us. Uh, I think here I switched to Gogeta. Um, okay, so we match his blast attacks. That's something you guys want to do a, uh, pretty often too, is when they go for a blast attack, instead of vanishing out of it, use a time your, time your blast attack properly and you can match it. That way you won't have to waste a vanish and you can maybe get priority in some certain cases like I just did right there. So that's something you want to do. So I switch over to Vados and use the green card immediately so he can start reducing Gogeta Blue's sub count. And he was pretty patient there, um, but we were patient as well. So we got the vanish out of that. And we can start a combo here. So I think I go for my ult here. Um, I restore gauge as well, and I'm pretty sure I use it because I knew that Super Saiyan 3 LF wasn't going to be back yet. So it was either him or Gogeta, and he decided to let go of Super Saiyan 3 purple goku so that's one unit out of the way switch out to gogeta blue and he delayed his sidestep very well so he's able to get a combo on us i think here i switched to vados just so i can destroy his cards and that should end his combo and he goes for the rush um which is fine because i think vados at this point is uh, probably our rush target i, don't, I wouldn't want to let go of the other two units um, so this is perfectly fine, but we guess his rush, which is something that happens once every 3,000 rush. So we quickly pop Vados' main ability so he can get the heal off. And we get the PV, unfortunately, which really sucks for him right after, I guess, his rush. Go for the blue card, and we're able to eliminate Gogeta Blue, uh, not Gogeta Blue, but Zenkai Gogeta right out of here. He goes for another tackle, which I've noticed him doing a couple of times before, and we're able to start off. A combo here, but at this point, I believe, I think it was here, I think he starts to disconnect. Yeah, here. And unfortunately, he does disconnect, which sucks, but that's pretty much the end of the match, and I win it, and I pretty much end the recording prematurely, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know there are certain instances where I kind of talk over the gameplay a bit too fast, so it might be hard for you to understand. If there are certain spot, uh, spots in the video where you guys don't fully understand what I'm talking about, drop a timestamp in the comments and I'll do my best to explain it in the comments for you guys. So make sure you drop a comment if you have any concerns. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe because that shit is so important. So don't forget. Other than that, have a great day. See ya.